You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 41 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be talking about... Some underwhelming WWE television. Yep. Um, so, SmackDown ratings came out, under 2 million. Third hour of Raw, under 2 million. I think overall was like 2.2, 2, maybe? Mm-hmm. Maybe? Mm-hmm. Um, so we got the... Participants for both Money in the Bank matches. Did they, they finish? Women's. They finished SmackDown's women's. They did okay. Um, let me see if I can remember. Bailey, Mandy Rose. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. Okay. Ember Moon mm-hmm. and Carmella. Yes. Right. Yes, Carmella. Okay. That is correct. Yes. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah. Well, we we mentioned that. We might as well mention because it's not like it, it it did. Oh no, the men started raw. Um, yeah. But yeah, we'll we'll say it's the women's. Um, for raw, it was, and this was really dumb. <laughs> First, it was Natalia. Yep. Then Dana Brooke. Yep. The two of them start bickering about title shots and stuff like that. I'm like, neither of you are even featured on Raw on a regular basis. Which you know. Dana Brooke was talking over here, and her microphone was here. It, it, it was it was a funny spot. Yes, yeah, it, was, it was weird. Um, and then Naomi, which actually kind of makes sense. Yeah, that's fine. There's only like there's technically I think maybe f- half makes sense because uh, okay, Dana Brooke and Natalia are the ones that don't make sense. Well, I mean, I'm all for <laughs> giving people a shot, but. Yeah. I mean, you had Ruby just challenge for the title, what, two months ago, and then... Not have her in Money in the Bank. Gone. I was going to say... Maybe... She was on main event last week. That's good. That's yeah. a good sign. Um, Sarah Logan. Nothing. Nah. I know, but still. Um, Asuka, now ap- well, apparently she's relegated. Now. Yeah, but she's not... Te- oh, I guess they're technically feuding for the tag titles, right? I guess. That's what it seems like. I guess. Um anyway. Yeah. And then Alexa Bliss. Yes. Who yes. was kind of a swerve, I guess. Mm-hmm. Sure. Cause she was like announcing all of them. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then she's like, and this person is the best one out of all mm-hmm. of them. Like obviously it was gonna be her. Yep. So and that wasn't a surprise. And then yeah. she ended up facing Naomi. And she lost because of her shoes. Yeah, she wasn't is, ready. She yeah, wasn't dressed yeah, 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 properly. Yeah, because Naomi had challenged her after. She, she I could made beat the you because she's like she said something about uh, Naomi said that she could beat her, and then she's like, "Well, I'm not dressed. I'm not dressed properly. I don't yeah. even have my own shoes." And then Naomi goes, "I'll beat you with no shoes." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how, "How? How does the other person not wearing shoes benefit or like not benefit you?" It's dumb whatever it is dumb yeah and that is why they are where they are right yeah, now that's fair i mean you know things could obviously be worse but we're they not could be talk about that yeah um, um all right so i guess we'll talk about the men's money in the bank too that yeah, makes um, sense um we have braun ricochet drew mcintyre and a baron corbin disappointing for Raw. yeah disappointing yeah and then finn Mustafa, oh no, sorry, it's just Ali now. Yep. That's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, Andrade and Randy Orton. So first and foremost... Why the hell is it Randy Orton and not Aleister Black? Well, that's a hell of a question. Mm-hmm. I-, I was going to get to that eventually. Okay. Why was there no qualifying matches? You literally could have built both shows just around people qualifying. Because that would make too much sense. <clears throat> it's funny because I was watching Raw with my dad. Mm-hmm. And he goes, like, how do they decide who's going to be in these matches? Yep. And I'm like, I guess they don't. They just <laughs> appear. They decide. It's like the Royal Rumble. Like, one year there's qualifying matches. The mm-hmm. next year it's like, oh, I'm going to be in the Rumble. Well, generally a lot of the qualifying is, you know, oh, if you can beat this person, you can be I in know. the Rumble. But they used to, they used to have oh, actual, yeah. like, legitimate tournaments. Right, right. Something like that. Right. Uh, so Braun and Baron Corbin are both. Former winners, both failed to cash in. Mm. Randy Orton was lumped in with them, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But why? 
Well, I mean, obviously, I understand why Baron Corbin has to be in the match. Oh, uh, because they... He's the new Roman Reigns. Yeah, I don't know exactly what they're doing with that. <laughs> they're just, know. like, shoving them down people's throats. Yeah, and Braun, no no real need for that. Besides the fact that he has nothing else to do. Well, yeah. Because there's I'm sure plenty of people that they could have put in that spot. In. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Ricochet was a good call. Well, obviously. Drew McIntyre. Yeah. That's good. Well... Because uh, we know what the field is now, mm-hmm. it it seems like they're probably gonna go with the heel, obviously winning Money in the Bank. That's usually what they do anyway. Should be. Um. So Makes Drew would make sense. a lot of sense. Yes. Except for the fact that Seth is still champion. <laughs> <laughs> well. We had this problem last week. Well, he could. Uh... He's not gonna lose the title, AJ. No. Certainly not, not the now. first one. No. 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 Um find out that the miz will face shane mcmahon in a steel cage match at money in the bank yay um yeah uh, i mean we saw lashley as a guest on miz tv which obviously led to a match between miz and lashley yeah. which was that was weird like why is lashley getting involved with this is he going to be shane for him to do is either. he going to be shane's henchman now uh there's a possibility yeah um leo rush wasn't on there yeah i guess he figured he would have been some sort of backstage heat well yeah problem. that's irrelevant. I, I don't know what um, the deal is there's so many conflicting reports a couple of news sites said there was heat on him and then he said there wasn't any heat on him obviously mm-hmm. um so you know the wrestlers yelling at the, the quote-unquote dirt sheets mm-hmm. as uh, well they like to be called yeah um and then lashley was making fun of miz because he lost at wrestlemania even mm-hmm. though lashley also lost at wrestlemania yeah in much more de- de- decisive manner as well yeah because the miz lost because shane landed on him when the miz suplexed shane mm-hmm. off of the whatever the hell it was camera yeah and stand and, or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. so but um yeah, so this continues. I don't know why Shane McMahon must be on TV. His punches are absolutely cringeworthy, and the fact that the camera is always at the worst spot. Well, that's usually how it goes. Oh, boy. Anyway, um, uh, Ricochet and Braun, because we kind of glossed over this, yeah. teamed up and fought, fought uh, Corbin and Drew McIntyre in the yeah. same match. Pretty, uh, pretty uneventful. Very inconsequential. Um, Very I guess, uneventful. I guess Corbin pissed off drew because drew just left at the end of the match i guess and, i mean uh, was that from last week what? what they had well they were in that triple threat did anything happen between oh, yeah, i guess yeah, that's yeah, true yeah. yeah well because corbin, corbin pulled mcintyre out of the ring no he threw him out threw of the that ring. Yeah. yeah and then Whatever. pinned uh pinned uh the miz yeah so that makes sense yeah yeah, 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 yeah. it's all coming together now it's true but I mean, all right, so we had the club versus the Usos. Um, so we just had two teams that came over from SmackDown having a match on Raw. Of course. Dumb. Yeah. Um. So after the match, the, Us- the Usos, uh, I guess, decide they want to talk. They play a video. Well, they were very excited before the match started. Yeah. Well, yeah, they were like singing like, their theme. Yeah. Getting the crowd into it. And then mm-hmm. all of a sudden, they had that awkward moment where we're going to commercial and they're still doing their thing. Yeah, it was like, weird. Huh okay yeah um but they show a video because they had like a big secret um and that it was the video of the revival shaving each other's backs in the shower mm-hmm. and i don't get it what don't you get like they're i guess they think it's funny but if they read the bro code <laughs> <laughs> that that's part of it that you have to help out a brother yeah, but yeah. they are actual brothers, so you think that. Now, does that count for them? Or no, I'm not talking about the Usos. So. Well, I know, but the bro code for the actual brothers. Yeah, they should different? know. different? That should be the same. Is that like extra bro? Yeah, well, theoretically speaking, if anything, you should be willing to do more stuff. <laughs> so, granted, I'm not going to go there. I mean, but, you don't need to. Yeah, so it was just silly. <clears throat> yeah, and this is what we're building the feud on rather than... Good well, wrestling. it's. I mean, to be fair, neither of them have any claim to fame, considering they're both just in the tag team division. Neither of them are title holders or anything like that. At least that would have been an easy. It's true. But no, you have Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder who have the most 
I don't know, uninspiring theme and everything's like quiet and they just yeah. come out to the crickets and yep. stuff like that, which mm-hmm. they end up beating the Revival. What is this, like the third or fourth time this match has happened in the last month or two? Yeah, I don't get it. Like, uh, I, I, I don't make any sense. The tag team division, even, like, yeah, there's more people. It's more populated now mm-hmm. with like bigger threats, but like it just, they just don't know what to do with it. It's true. And things get even worse on the SmackDown end of things because the Hardy Boys have to vacate the tag titles, and there are only like three tag teams There's on SmackDown. Not many. You have, I think, the Clones. You have uh, Rusev and Nakamura, and you have the B team. Uh, do, do the Clones count if they haven't been on TV? Uh, One of them know. was. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. Epico. Um. But I'm just saying. You know what might actually happen? Lars Sullivan's going to win both tag titles. He's going to grab Nicholas from the crowd. There you go, and you have to say stupid things again, and yeah. they're probably very true. Yep. Um. So I'm glad you were wrong about your call for Lars Sullivan being in the Money in the Bank match. Yeah, it's true. That would have been bad. Yep. Yeah. Because it would have made no sense. Granted, they haven't done anything with him that makes any sense anyway, so I guess it's really hard to... Yeah, because when the Hardys were relinquishing the titles um he comes out jeff is on crutches i think he's gonna be out like six to nine months that's what i had read he's gonna be a really old man by the time he yes he is um our truth came up from behind hit him with a chair and then they still got beat up he's still yeah exactly yep so this nonsense still continues so is large gonna be roman's next opponent I'm, or do they want? Well, they probably don't want to bury him that quickly. I'm okay with it. I know, but they probably <laughs> won't want to. No, I, I, I don't think so. Yeah, because although they have dropped things quicker. Yeah. So I wouldn't be it tremendous. Could be a SummerSlam program. I guess. I don't know. Not that. I don't really care. That's the problem. Lars Sullivan, not interested. I, I, I don't really care what I they agree. do with them. I agree. And yeah. what they're doing is. Not good either, so... No, it's true. But, whatever. There's that. <clears throat> um, we did have another Firefly Funhouse segment. Oh, my God. What was the word of the day? Sociopath. <laughs> Bray, Bra- Bray Wyatt did not know how to spell that word. He did not. <laughs> I showed it twice. Yep. That's that's what bothers me. Pick a show. I'm, I'm, Pick a I'm, show. I'm, I'm all right with it being... Make it different. <laughs> One or the other. <laughs> it was fine that it was shown twice because on SmackDown you get to see the crowd going. <laughs> What's going on? We can't hear it. <laughs> so oh, bad. Oh boy. I, I mean, it's fine. I don't have a problem with it. I laugh at it. It's it's dumb. It kind of makes. But the problem is, I don't know if he broke could, his brain. I, yeah, I guess. But it seems like they're trying to like. Like, from what this one was, it seemed like they were trying to get out of it kind of quickly. Because they kind of, like, told the whole story of, like, the Sister Abigail Mm. thing because of... house being burnt down. Yeah. So, it seems like they just wanted to do two of these, and it's like, it's a fever dream, and it's over. No. So, but that's that's just kind of, like, the way it was presented. But here has honestly been what the best part of this has been. And that is Bray Wyatt on Twitter. Okay. Because he had forgiven randy for burning his compound down that's good and then randy was like well you did have the wwe spend two million dollars to put bugs on the screen for a wrestlemania match or what it was that was a mania yeah it was yeah um and then there was rumors going around i think it was last week right after the first one had aired about um stockholders wanting to pull out because of how bad the firefly funhouse segment was or something like that then bray pops up and he goes i love stockholders (laughs) it was just there's just so many random things that he's been posting on and then they have that uh wwe shop where you can customize your own shirts or something like that Uh uh-huh and they had like just a red shirt and it had the firefly funhouse picture on the shirt and Mm -hmm. that was it and everybody was going ape shit and then bray Wyatt was like here's my new shirt and it was just like a plain black shirt or something like that (laughs) People won't get mad at this. It's just, it's just random nonsense. But all right, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, we saw Joe versus Mysterio yet again. Mm-hmm. Why hasn't he beaten up his son yet? Joe beating up Dominic. Yes, because he's not a wrestler. He's a trained wrestler. 
Or I don't know if he's fully trained, but he has trained. I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying he's not under contract. That's why. I guess. He's not getting paid, so he can't get beat up. Who cares? Give right. us something. Like, this is the perfect storyline for Samoa Joe, and they're not doing anything I know. With I it. like the fact that Dominic is able to pick up his daddy uh, like he's a little baby. I caught him. <laughs> caught him. Oh, boy. Oh, little Mysterio. You got a cute little mask. It was bad. Although, uh, it was funny well, that... What's the point in having Samoa Joe as your champion? He loses everything. He does. I'm surprised they didn't put him in the Money in the Bank match since Finn Balor's already in and he's the IC champion. That's Let's true. Just, I, I mean, you know, the Money in the Bank card looks like it's going to be a good show. Hopefully. Yeah, I know. Hopefully. <laughs> like I said, looks like it's going to be. Mm-hmm. Well, you got some but, good title matches. And you have Shane McMahon on the card, so you know that's automatically means it's Best going to be fantastic. Best wrestler in the world. He is. He has a trophy. It says it. <laughs> Does it, it says best in the world, right? Not best wrestler in the world. You can't use wrestler in no, WWE. Just, well, it, it's, it's, it's a coming. Sports entertainer. It's, it's Matt, coming back. But it does say best in the world, right? It's like dumb like that. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Got it. Um, the Viking Raiders faced the Lucha House Party. Again. Again. The Lucha House Party attacked them But this that preemptively. didn't happen last time. It did didn't. It? No, yeah. But this time it did, and the War Raiders won. No, not the War Raiders, the, uh, Viking, the Viking Raiders. Raiders. So bad. Did they hit the Viking experience? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> uh, I did. I have no idea. I did enjoy the Becky and Lacey Evans segment. I thought that was that was decent. Well, yeah, they, they usually do a pretty good job. The, the biggest problem with Evans is that, A, she runs away a lot, and she doesn't... Heal. I know that, but I'm just saying... It, it's hard to, I guess, I guess like uh, feel behind somebody, whether or not you like you. Not feel supposed it. to be behind the heel. Uh, you know what I mean. Like believe them as a threat. Yeah. If all they do is run away, whereas Lacey Evans is kind of being portrayed as a heel that does dirty tactics, but she doesn't really. She kind of just well, she just takes cheap shots. But mm-hmm. I don't know. It just it feels a little weird. But. When she does do stuff, it's not bad. Yeah, no, I thought their segment was fine. I thought her top was going to come off, but... Uh, wow. Well, that's just the life in the woman WWE That, that is true. That, that is very true. The um, Asuka, every single match she mm-hmm. has. The Ronda. Mm-hmm. Um, but, I mean, the uh, the split with the referees coming out. There's like 10 guys out there, and you can't hold the two women back. It's just, you know... Yeah, it's kind of... I. I know what they're doing, but it's kind of sad when you think yeah, about it. Because yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. they're, like, overly, like, booking it, I guess. Because, like, you got, like, guys, like, when they did Brock Lesnar and uh, Braun Strowman, right, I think right. they did. It's a little more believable. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's like, oh, they're so angry that they want to... Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. So, um... I guess moving on to SmackDown. Well, we didn't talk about the contract signing. I fell asleep. Literally nothing happened. I, they... It was. I it, fell asleep, woke up, and saw AJ hit the phenomenal forearm. Yeah. So they were just talking back and forth, and Seth's like, "Oh, you're not good enough to beat me." And AJ is like, "Oh, well, uh, you burn it down. I'm going to build it back up." Blah blah blah. So I'm like, "This is dumb." It um, sounded dumb. And then AJ goes to shake Seth's hand. Seth's like, "Oh, I got the title." Um. And then AJ like just attacks him, and that's it. That's kind of dumb. So this isn't going to go anywhere. Mm-mm, no. Could have the, put the club and AJ together and beat up Seth Rollins, you know, something like that. Well, now they're all on the same show. They are. So there is potential. There is. However, Maybe. we know what happens with potential. Yeah, it gets... Right out the window. Yeah. So no one would be cool mm. when they bring back Ambrose because he didn't actually leave. Did you see the John Moxley video? No, I was kidding. Uh, obviously, it's not going to happen. Had but... more views than uh, SmackDown did. <laughs> I believe you. I believe you. So what are you talking about, though? Uh, he posted a video on Twitter saying, I think it just said Mox or something like that. And it was just like him breaking out of, I think it was a jail cell or something like that. And then training and stuff like that. It huh. That's seemed cool. like it was hinting towards something. It was a well done video. H- him not being in the WWE anymore? I mean, I would assume, <laughs> yeah. but you know, everybody's got their own conspiracy theories. He's sent to, he's going to be sent to AEW as a spy for Vince McMahon. Yeah, that's going to happen. Things like that. Yeah. You know, just things like that. Yeah, it's people dumb. like to make up crazy stories. It's true. 
So why was Michael Cole on SmackDown? Because he wants everybody to be miserable. Because as soon as he, I heard his voice, I said, SmackDown's ruined. <laughs> He's just here because the big dog's here, and that's the only reason. It's true. <laughs> just he have him pop out. <laughs> he, didn't get, he didn't get the say. No, that should be part of his entrance music. <laughs> ban it. Ban it. And just say, it's the big dog. That would be good. That'd be funny. It would be. So what is this? Three weeks after Kofi wins? The new the WWE new. champion. They 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 said that every time they have announced him. I know. I know. So it's not a surprise. No. Um But yeah, so we're gonna get Kofi versus Kevin Owens. Yes. The big O. Mm-hmm. That money in the bank. I liked his interview with the action figures. Hmm. That was interesting. It was something. <laughs> I'm glad it main evented the show. Yep. Or was the main yeah. event segment. Yeah, it was so bad. It was. Um Nick Xavier Woods came out and attacked Kevin Owens from behind and then yeah. Owens beat him up. Yeah, and, uh, Owens got the best of him and then yep. Kofi chased him away. Uh we had Bailey versus Becky. This was a good match. It was. Yeah. But any 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 time cuz for whatever reason they like to not have the good matches like be normal or like being the storyline oh, like they'll yeah. just put on throwaway matches like this that are good right right and like oh that's not important when you have and then you'll have like a dumbass pay-per-view match that doesn't like doesn't hold up to like what oh, a, TV. a regular show yeah. yeah yeah well i mean i'm glad that bailey's being showcased she's mm-hmm. been the show she should be the one facing her at money in the bank right i agree and then she's going to be in money in the bank so that's good yeah but she loses two weeks in a row and then charlotte comes out after her yeah i did yeah. like the finish of the match bailey was going for the elbow drop uh becky got the knees up since i think she was working on her arm throughout the match or no 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 maybe not maybe she was working on a different body part who becky yeah i thought she was working on a body part mm. but anyway she went for the elbow drop becky got the knees up Hurt her arm coming down, and then Becky put her in the disarmor. So, yep, I thought that was a good finish. And then Charlotte comes out, and yeah, you can see her running down the ramp as the pin is happening. Yeah. So, um, but and yeah, that was that was that. Mm-hmm. I mean, we talked about the Hardys relinquishing their titles. Yep. We had since you know things are unoriginal. We had the four competitors for Money in the Bank from SmackDown in a tag match, much like Raw. Mm. So we had Finn and Ali versus Andrade and Orton. Literally the same thing. Yes. I did like that spot when Ali and Finn did... Well, I think Finn flipped over the ropes one side and Ali did a suicide dive on the oh, other side. Oh, yeah. Because I think that it was timed wrong mm. because Ali was on the outside of the ring and he you can see him flying. sprinting yeah. like as fast as he could. Um, we also had Roman Reigns versus the B team. That was something. Oh, yeah, that did happen, yes. Yeah. Um, and then it was also, I want to say... Oh, Roman Reigns won. Well, obviously. <laughs> uh, why Why bother saying it? Um, and then there was something with Asuka and uh, Kyrie with the oh, yeah, Iconics. They faced, they faced uh, enhancement talent. Oh, yeah, that's right. Local local talent. Yeah, that's the Iconics was. were on uh, commentary. commentary. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm guessing that match is probably going to happen at the pay-per-view? Has to. You would think. I mean, Why there's else? no other tag teams that yeah. they're promoting, really. So that would that would make sense to me. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that was uh, that's everything, right? Yeah, I mean, we had Owens and. Well, we talked about that kind of yeah. with the action figures. Cool. He didn't actually do that. No. Um. But yeah, he was impersonating. I guess making fun of the new day with mm-hmm. the action figures. Um, he had a big E one that's leg was all wrapped up. It was funny. Yeah. Um, and then Kofi came out looking very, very annoyed. Ran down, they started fighting, and then uh, Kevin Owens kind of just runs away after a little while, little while. Yeah. So last week we had good shows, and this week... Not so good. Poopoo. Yeah, it's just boring. Yeah, but I, like I said, I mean, just... You can't just spin... I mean, we got, what, another two weeks still money in the bank? Yeah, it's May 19th. Two more Raws, two more SmackDowns. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, but what are we going to get? More of the same crap? Pretty much all the matches are set up. It's true. I mean... Buckle your seatbelts. Oh, it's going to be a roller coaster. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I mean, it would have just made so much more sense for They're them to qualify. Matches. At least do two weeks. Mm-hmm. 
I know. worth. It's just I something. Know. Like, and then you can have these tag both matches. Both shows around it. Mm-hmm. And yet here we are. I mean, think about how much talent's left off the shows. Alistair Black. But he had a he did have a promo that like he had last I week. I know, but I meant I was talking about Money in the Bank. Oh, He's oh not yeah, be yeah, on yeah. There at all. Um, most of your tag teams. Granted, that really doesn't matter too much anyway. That's true. Um, all the, all the women that we talked about that aren't going to be on the show. Because mm-hmm. even though there's going to be the two title matches, one person's in both of them. That's true. So, I don't know. Yeah, it is what it is. There's going to be no IC title match. It'll probably be Mysterio versus Joe. Yeah, um, yeah I think so. Well, I why sworn, wouldn't it I could have sworn I had read that Mysterio... Because originally there was leaked photos of Money in the Bank, and Mysterio was in the match, but somebody said he had uh, some sort of signing or something that day, or he was doing something oh. that day, so he wasn't going to be in the match. Gotcha. So, who knows? I was going to say, it could I mean, be... They... Well, know what it could be. Hmm. Maybe next week, like, Joe will destroy Ray, and hmm. then he'll it'll be Dominic versus uh, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I laugh, but it could be, it could be true. It's definitely, tr- it's definitely possible. It is. So, but I don't know. Yeah. And SmackDown tag titles. Who knows what they're gonna do there? Where's the sure. Ascension? Yeah, there, there is no. Or is Heavy Machinery on SmackDown? I think they're technically on SmackDown. All right, so just give them the titles. That's fine. They're the only team that makes sense. Yeah, have Otis just dance around for. 20 minutes or something like that. Ducky. Up and That's down fine. the ramp. That's fine. I liked Scotty Too Hotty back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, that's 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 about it, right? Uh, I mean, I, I think so. Nothing else of note happened, right? No. I mean, there's just all types of crazy nonsense going around news-wise. Because um, I guess the re- it was reported the revival had been offered a Five hundred thousand five year contract or something like that, and a lot of I money. guess they turned it down or they didn't sign. Well, yeah, because they don't have any interest in staying. Well, I mean, there's probably truth to that. Yeah, because they they wanted a release. Yeah, they, I don't. It was refused. So why would you want an extension? That's true, but I don't know when their contract is up. But apparently, when Dash Wilder was injured last, he was out for two months. Mm-hmm. So they tacked that time onto his contract. It's so weird how that works. Because that's not how it works in any other business. Well, independent contract. So I don't know yeah, what it's type so of weird. So convoluted weird. nonsense goes into mm-hmm. their contracts. Yeah, because most major sporting, uh, I guess, uh, companies want contracts to expire when people get here. Well, I mean, yeah. Um, and there was also talk that you failed the drug test, you weren't going to get fired, like people were um, doing it on purpose. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah. I'm sure there's ways that aren't really that bad. Because, like, with uh, Eva Marie, she mm-hmm. had, like, a right, yeah, yeah. a wellness policy violation that wasn't necessarily, like, a steroids or anything. It was just something that she had a, taken yeah, that wasn't yeah, on the approved. Your, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something so, like that. Or that she didn't get priv- uh, a previous approval from WWE's doctors, even though her doctor prescribed it or something like that. Yeah. I think Paige had the same thing. Yeah. So, but whatever. They're uh, they're going in the wrong direction. That's really what it is. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, this is what happens when you have a big company with no competition and a crazy bastard at the helm. And then who we, lets his stupid son on TV? That's true. And then when you have competition, you don't know how to deal with it, and then you uh, and I just throw start throwing shit at the wall. Yep, like monkeys. Yep, <laughs> just flinging their poo. Yep. Um, Although I'm sure Vince would find that funny. He probably would. So, uh, but I mean, I don't know how well this holds for any other wrestling company trying to get a TV deal when they constantly see the one wrestling show dropping week after week after mm-hmm. week it's true um, the only shot that aew has is the fact that like they have a good backing yeah that's yeah. their that's their biggest thing it's true so but 
But yeah. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, they think they did announce the uh, Saudi Arabia show. Mm-hmm. And Goldberg's apparently going to be wrestling. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, yeah, they pushed it back because it was originally supposed to take place in May. I think so. Yeah. But I guess they pushed it back. But that's fine. It's not the greatest Royal Rumble part two, right? I don't think so. I think it just said Saudi Arabia show. Yeah. So they could not even have a plan for it yet. As we've seen, Raw is written like moments before they go live. So. It's like, oh, I guess it's time to write the show at 7.45. On... Vince is sitting on the toilet. Hold on. I've almost got my best idea yet. All right. That's enough. <laughs> So this was episode 41 Mm -hmm. of our podcast. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.